The S-band is a designation by the Institute of Electrical and Electronics Engineers for a part of the microwave band of the electromagnetic spectrum covering frequencies from 2 to 4 GHz GHZ. Thus it crosses the conventional boundary between the UHF and SHF bands at 3.0 GHz. The S-band is used by airport surveillance radar for air traffic control, weather radar, surface ship radar, and some communications satellites, especially those used by NASA to communicate with the Space Shuttle and the International Space Station. The 10 cm radar short band ranges roughly from 1.55 to 5.2 GHz. The S band also contains the 2.4 to 2.483 GHz ISM band, widely used for low power unlicensed microwave devices such as cordless phones, wireless headphones, Bluetooth, wireless networking, Wi Fi, garage door openers, keyless vehicle locks, baby monitors, as well as for medical diathermy machines and microwave ovens, typically at 2.495 GHz. India's Regional Satellite Navigation Network IRNSS broadcasts on 2.483778 to 2.500278 gigahertz. Topic: Satellite Communications. In the U.S., the FCC approved Satellite Based Digital Audio Radio Service broadcasting in the S band from 2.31 to 2.36 GHz, currently used by Sirius XM Radio. More recently, it has approved for portions of the S band between 2.0 and 2.2 GHz the creation of mobile satellite service MSS networks in connection with ancillary terrestrial components ATC. There are presently a number of companies attempting to deploy such networks, including Eco Satellite Management and Terrestar. The 2.6 GHz range is used for China Multimedia Mobile Broadcasting, a satellite radio and mobile TV standard which, as with proprietary systems in the US, is incompatible with the open standards used in the rest of the world. In May 2009, Inmarsat and Solaris Mobile a joint venture between Utilsat and SES, now Echostar Mobile were awarded each a 2 times 15 MHz portion of the S-band by the European Commission. The two companies are allowed two years to start providing pan-European MSS services for 18 years. Allocated frequencies are 1.98 to 2.01 GHz for Earth to space communications, and from 2.17 to 2.2 GHz for space to Earth communications. Utilsat W2A satellite launched in April 2009 and located at 10 degrees east is currently the unique satellite in Europe operating on S band frequencies. In some countries, S-band is used for direct-to-home satellite television unlike similar services in most countries, which use Ku-band. The frequency typically allocated for this service is 2.5 to 2.7 GHz LOF 1.570 GHz INDOSTAR-1 was the world's first commercial communications satellite to use S-band frequencies for broadcast pioneered by Van der Hayden, which efficiently penetrate the atmosphere and provide high-quality transmissions to small diameter 80 cm antennas in regions that experience heavy rainfall such as Indonesia. Similar performance is not economically feasible with comparable Ku or C band DTH satellite systems since more power is required in these bands to penetrate the moist atmosphere. Other uses 
wireless network equipment compatible with IEEE 802.11b and 802.11g standards use the 2.4 GHz section of the S band. Some digital cordless telephones operate in this band too. Microwave ovens operate at 2495 or 2450 MHz. IEEE 802.16a and 802.16e standards use a part of the frequency range of S band. Under WiMAX standards, most vendors are now manufacturing equipment in the range of 3.5 GHz. The exact frequency range allocated for this type of use varies between countries. In North America, 2.4 to 2.483 GHz is an ISM band used for unlicensed spectrum devices such as cordless phones, wireless headphones, and video senders, among other consumer electronics uses, including Bluetooth which operates between 2.402 GHz and 2.480 GHz. Amateur radio and amateur satellite operators have two S band allocations, 13 cm 2.4 GHz and 9 cm 3.4 GHz. Amateur television repeaters also operate in these bands. Airport surveillance radars typically operate in the 2700 to 2900 MHz range. Particle accelerators may be powered by S-band RF sources. The frequencies are then standardized at 2.998 GHz Europe or 2.856 GHz US. The National NEXRAD radar network operates with S-band frequencies. Before implementation of this system, C-band frequencies were commonly used for weather surveillance. In the United States, the 3.55 to 3.7 GHz band is becoming shared spectrum under rules adopted by the Federal Communications Commission in April 2015 as a result of the National Broadband Plan United States. The biggest user of CBRS Citizens Broadband Radio Service spectrum is the United States Navy. Cable companies are planning to use the band for wireless broadband in rural areas, with Charter Communications beginning tests of the service in January 2018, used as a transmit intermediate frequency in satellite communications as a replacement for L-band where a single, shared coaxial connection is used between the modem, IDU and antenna, ODU for both the transmit and receive signals. This is to prevent interference between the transmit and receive signals which would otherwise not occur on a dual coaxial setup where the transmit and receive signals are separate and both can use the whole L-band frequency range. In a single coaxial connection using S-band to frequency shift the transmit signal away from L-band, a multiplier such as 10, is usually applied to form the SHF frequency. For example, the modem would transmit at 2.815 GHz if S-band to the ODU and then the ODU up converts this signal to 28.15 GHz SHF car band towards the satellite. Topic. Optical communications S-band S-band is also used in optical communications to refer to the wavelength range 1460 nm to 1530 nm. See also Electromagnetic interference at 2. 4 GHz ISM band Unified S-band, an S-band communication system used in the Apollo program of manned spaceflight